home record of only three defeats in 13 league games. Jock Brown is your commentator and we join him right at the start of the match. Well, bright sunshine overhead, but conditions underfoot very soft as the match gets underway. United starting the match. And Hearts have their full strength side out to try to boost their chance of European football next season. They're on the usual lines with the experienced Jimmy Bone. Alec McDonald settling back into the side. But they'll be defending as usual up front for goals on young John Robertson. So Robertson will be trying to add to his 15 goals this season. Dundee United savaged by injuries. They try to come forward, but they have a mammoth task this afternoon to overcome the loss of key men like Richard Goff, Eamon Bann and Paul Sturrock and also Hamish McAlpine, a, few, a flu victim. But they have Ian Monroe on the side in left midfield making his first appearance to the club. And a very experienced player, he played for Scotland, they also played for St Merton Hibs, Rangers, Stock City and Sunderland, there he is. Hegarty's header, Clark and Cowie underneath it. Here's Ralph Milne with a chance for United, Jordan is back. And that shot wasn't so far away from Ralph Milne, not a lot of power in it. Now Robertson, taking on Neri. Good play from Robertson. They get his header away, but John Robertson showing lots of confidence, taking on a Scotland defender in the form of David Neri. There's Kidd, helped on by McLaren. Neri challenging Robertson, breaks for Bowman. Not against Malpass. Gardner in trouble and John Holt turning it behind for the corner kick. But Hearts causing problems now for Dundee United in defence. Good play that was on the right, setting up the cross which had Gardner at sea. So Roddy McDonald on the goal line. Gary Mackay will take the corner. Right over the top to Stuart McLaren. Now Bowman, far post cross, John Holt is there, here's Robertson, and Malpass quickly in with a challenge. Robertson very sharp indeed in that United box. Bit of elbowing and pushing being done by Roddy McDonald, giving United the free kick. Past the half hour mark now, still little sign of the deadlock being broken. Milne playing it in, short for Clark. An awkward one for Smith with David Dodds coming in. And a very clumsy challenge indeed from David Dodds. Certainly trying to make it difficult for Henry Smith, but I think he'll get a booking for his troubles. It was quite a fierce one. The ball lofted high in the air from the free kick. Henry Smith underneath it. David Dodds com coming bundling in, and I think Hugh Alexander took exception to the right elbow being raised. Header by Stark. Good lay off that from Gary Mackay. Bones pass cut off. Alec McDonald very busy in midfield for Hearts. Here's John Robertson. Can he make a shooting chance? Well, he managed it all right, but Gardner was in the right spot. And that lets you see the quality of John Robertson. Donald again, picking up the loose ball in midfield. Looking for Jimmy Bone. The header in field for Mackay. Robertson's offside. Well, the shot was good enough, but the flag was up long before he turned. John Gardner in trouble. John Robertson challenging and Hegarty back with a clearing header. With Alec McDonald blocking Gardner's clearance. 
and with the goalkeeper away from goal that could have been disastrous for United still the pressure is on and Gardner fails to prevent the corner kick so the short one this time taken to Walter Kidd far post cross the header and Alec McDonald out of luck as the ball falls safely into the arms of Gardner certainly was a good cross that from Walter Kidd out swinging across the far post with Alan McDonald finding space firm enough header but Gardner was there defensive figure of Jim McLean is still in the director's box resisting a temptation to come to the dugout and the Hearts player manager like McDonald still organising things from the field of play Clark getting that back towards Holt but too much pace in the ball Alex McDonald again played in by Bowman towards Bone back it comes to McLaren he feels for a penalty wave the side as he clashed with Ian Munro well that was controversial all right The ball laid down beautifully in the air by Jimmy Bone into the path of Stuart McLaren. He tried to come onto the ball. Monroe made the challenge. McLaren went down and the referee said that was not a penalty kick. Roddy McDonald coming to meet the goal kick. McDonald playing it through. Now Bowman looking for Robertson. Hegarty happy to knock that out for the throw as we approach the half-time whistle. McDonald. Trying to lay it back, a misunderstanding there with Bowman. Allowing Monroe to step in. Here's Derek Stark now, powering out of defence. Ian Monroe popping up on the right. David Odds making a run through the centre. That's looking for Ralph Milne, but Ronnie McDonald cutting it out. Well pass, back to David Neary. Now Paul Hegarty, the half-time whistle expected at any second. And there it goes, referee Hugh Alexander indicates that it's half-time. Besides the part, there are no goals at all in the first half. A doer, dogged midfield struggle. Hearts having the edge and they'll no doubt feel a bit aggrieved that he didn't get a penalty kick just before half-time. When Stuart McLaren was bundled down in a clash with Ian Munro after a head flick from Jimmy Bone, the referee didn't give the penalty, and that's why the score sheet remains blank at half time. <laughs> Welcome back to Tyne Castle as Hearts set off in their attempt to break their duck against Dundee United this season the fifth match between the sides and they haven't managed to record a victory yet back with Henry Smith again Kirkwood pushing McLaren Hearts free kick that's Alec McDonald in a hurry Waiting now for Roddy McDonald to get upfield and leaving the free kick to Sandy Jordan. McDonald being followed by Hegarty. Roddy McDonald beaten by Hegarty. There's Alec McDonald. Stuart McLaren helping it on. Going on towards Robertson. And Hegarty did well getting back with a challenge. Gardner holding the firm pass back well and the offside flag is up and I wonder if that was against Ralph Milne or John Clark on the near side so Hart's free kick taken by Jordan and United have made a significant tactical switch they pushed John Holt to right back and pushed Derek Stark into the central midfield role which he has occupied so effectively in recent weeks here's Jimmy Bone, can he turn? back it comes to Mackay, charged down by Hegarty now Dave Bowman 
McLaren coming in with Holt. Here's Alec McDonald lobbing it in towards Kidd. Gardner caught in two minds and Robertson almost made him pay. Almost a costly error that by John Gardner. You see McDonald's delicate little chip forward. Kidd charging forward with his head to it. Went wide for Robertson. Gardner started to come, changed his mind, and Robertson got in a shot just over the junction of the bar and the post. Well, when these two sides met in the league in the corresponding match earlier in the season, the score was 0 0. Still that way on this occasion. But Hart certainly doing as much as they possibly can to change the position. Jordan and Dodds together and the free kick goes to Hearts. Anguish for David Dodds. for Alec McDonald there's Dave Bowman McDonald again at the heart of everything in the heart's cause Jimmy Bone good save by Gardner well Jimmy Bone gathering the ball turning on it taking on the volley may well have been going to hit the post and go outside but Gardner scrambling across to beat it to safety So oh, here's Gary Mackay with the corner. Roddy McDonald trying to get on the end of it. John Clark leaving it to Bowman. Excellent goalkeeping from Gardner. Well, what an error that was from John Clark. He succeeded only in teeing the ball up for Dave Bowman. Young midfield player hit that with lots of power and that's good goalkeeping by Gardner. Curry winning it from Ralph Milne. Showing lots of determination as Hegarty came in with a challenge. It's a United goal kick in the end, but some warm applause for the Hearts fullback. Now John Holt. Kirkwood towards Dodds. Being denied any room by Sandy Jordan. Holt in the challenge with Bowman. It breaks for Alec McDonald. Good running from McLaren. And Monroe doing well back checking, but the ball breaks again for Alec McDonald. Good piece of play going away from Stark. I didn't quite get the ball set up for the final shot, but some excellent play from the Hearts player manager. And now Jim McLean takes his seat in the United dugout. I think we can take it from that that there will be an early substitution. And up to the organisation of the United ranks. Here's Ralph Milne. Dodds tackled by McDonald. Kirkwood. Now Gary Mackay. I think McDonald is onside. Gardner read the situation well. Holt playing it wide for Munro. Good pass to Clark, the layoff for Holt. Bowman in quickly. Here's David Neri. Hegarty's passed back. And Paul Hegarty is having a few words with his colleagues. Jim McLean too not happy with the United performance. Headed on from Clark. David Dodd slipped, made it easy for George Curry. Hegarty playing it forward. John Clark is in and there's a chance for United. 
Well, perhaps United's clearest chance of the match blazed wide by John Clark. And the long pass forward from Hegarty, giving Clark a chance to go through the middle of the half defence, and he really should have got that shot on target. So now substitutions for both sides. Stuart McLaren goes off for Hearts, Craig Levine comes on. For United, it's Ian Monroe going off and John Riley coming on. Dodds with the header, collected by Kidd. Well, that complete misunderstanding resulting in Craig Levine getting possession in the end. Now Jimmy Bone. There's John Robertson, now Ali McDonald, he's offside, it wouldn't have counted. It wouldn't have counted, the flag was up immediately. McDonald clearly unhappy about it, but in any event, it was a fine stop by John Gardner. by Clark back now with Henry Smith via Sandy Jordan Kirkwood taking no chances playing it back to his keeper and Robertson making life difficult for John Gardner A the clash there involving John Clark. Where we Sandy Jordan he jumped with. Or Walter Kidd rather. It's Kidd who's on the deck. Kidd is a man penalised in fact. And John Clark's arms swinging and catching the heart skipper. Gary Mackay having a word with John Clark. I don't think he's wishing him the compliments of the season either but... It did appear to be accidental, that swinging left arm. And that's certainly the referee's view. Well, Clark has been posing some problems in the air for the Hearts defence. David Neri with a free kick. A short one to Holt. There's no one on the right. John Holt will have to go all on his own if he wants to use that area of the field. Free kick against Derek Stark. The George Curry will take it and he'll have to go back a bit too. The referee checking time as Curry does this. I can't think the Hearts should want to waste time. Roddy McDonald's gone into the attack. Got a touch, there's Robertson. Good stop that by Gardner. And the menace of Robertson clear once again. The ball hoisted forward. A good header on from McDonald. Robertson.